Hello, Divine Collective. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley, and I am here with a channel message for you guys. As you come in, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Make yourself at home. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I drop a read. I hope you guys are having a fabulous afternoon. I'm doing well. The link to my self-published poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well as the about session. I would like to take this time out to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you to my day ones. You guys have been nothing short of amazing. I appreciate all the love, support, donations, super thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate every single last one of you. Okay. So my divine ones, let's hop right in to this channel message I got. So actually I was, I'm picking up like this is like, a divine fibula message. If you're a masculine dog, you could switch it, but I, this is a divine phenomenon message what I'm picking up on. Okay. So, uh, divine fibula, like I said, if you're a masculine, switch it. All right. But divine feminine, this, uh, it's a bitter, distorted ex, um, a bitter ex, a, a distorted masculine that's extremely jealous of your growth and success. Okay. Um, this man is bothered because you're not suffering how he expected. Okay. This is someone that, uh, you thought was actually a divine soulmate, but you have later on, on your path learned that this was a karmic soulmate. Okay. This is someone, uh, strictly manifested on your path in order to teach you some type of self growth lesson, some type of self-love lesson, some type of lesson about, um, about mastering yourself. Okay. So, um, that's what I'm getting here. Like this is crazy because this distorted masculine is someone who is now and who has always really vibrated like more in their favor of energy. Okay. But this is someone that portrayed themselves to be Moscow, uh, macho, to be masculine, to be tough. But this person is truly a peon spirit is said. All right. This, this person is just a puny little boy. Okay. This is so, this was a emotionally damaged man. Okay. That you fell in love with this person. You had genuine intentions for, for this person. You were the really only, the, you were the only realest individual in this person's life. And this person could not accept that. That person could not reciprocate or receive that genuine love because this has always been a snake. This has always been an act. This person was someone, like I said, that was set to awaken you to something. Okay. This person, like you were, it was like when you were in it with this person, you were in an illusion. Okay. You were in an illusion. You were, uh, you were under the impression this was some type of divine connection, but it was karmic. Okay. You had a past life with this person. All right. So, uh, what I'm getting here is that. I was picking up that this person always knew that you had great potential, great and great power. You were always this person too, divine fibula. This is a man. This is a man that grew jealous of you. And as the divine fibula in your power, a lot of us are seagull because it's not that. No, we can't get whoever we want. It's definitely not that. It's the, it's the fact. It's a lot of men who are, who are still emotionally broken, who are suffering with shadow and security issues that haven't healed or that haven't dealt with it. It's a lot of men out here. They will know what to do with an empress. They will know what to do with a goddess. Okay. Because they're, they, they're, they're still emotionally broken. They still have a lot of insecurities. They still have a lot of inner child wounds. They, they haven't, they haven't dealt with. So a strong, confident, beautiful, paid CEO boss type of goddess is going to easily intimidate a weak man. Okay. A man that's vibrated in their lower self, a man who refused to, to heal, a man who refused to go within and really, you know, it really tap in to where they 
are fucked up at, all right? You've dealt with a lot of projection when it comes to this person. This person, this person is a coward energy. This person is, is someone that would rather project their thoughts onto others than to actually do the work. It is sad. Like for a lot of you, this was a narcissist. All right. You've later discovered this was a narcissist the whole time you was dealing with. Okay. And this person, this, this person was just very toxic. Okay. It was just very toxic. And like I said, this person always knew that this would attract this person to you though. Your beauty, this rare essence about you. All right. Um, uh, and this person always knew you had great potential and power. This person always you knew you had great potential to elevate because of the, the your anointing and the light. Even back in the day, even when you wasn't aware of who you were, you still was shining like a diamond. Other motherfuckers knew who you were. This person knew who you were. That's why this person worked so hard to try to dim your light. This, like I said, this was a full, full blown narcissist. This person was very emotionally abusive, very manipulative. This person tries to give your light in the aspect of this person is someone that gossips a lot about you. This person would like gossip with their friends about you, gossip with their family. Okay. This person really was vibrating in the energy of a bitch. Okay. The energy of a female. And that's sad. Okay. That's really sad. And this per person has been exposed as such. So well, very weak. Okay. You, this, this person is, is bitter because you showing up. You actually stepping into your power. You taking your power back. You prove that everything this person spoke on your name was lies. Now people looking at this person like they the clown. They the goofy. You're, this person is really a hater. You really be having grown ass man jealous of you, divine feminine, because you're so powerful. You got way more boss than half of these motherfuckers. And it's sad that it's men that come for the, some men. I'm not saying all oh, y'all. Okay. If you're a man watching, like I said, this is all energy. All right. But it, it is sad that it is some man out here that be really envious and jealous of a female. Like these are individuals. These are men who don't know who they are, who don't even know that all, they all power, who haven't done any type of healing. These motherfuckers are lost. Okay. These motherfuckers are lost. And I get it. Like this person did a lot to try to humiliate you. It was all projection. This person, this person is someone they don't even really like themselves. They look in the mirror. They don't like the reflection. This is why this person did so much to try to humiliate you. This person did, uh, th this person spoke foul, weird, Wicked ass things on your name. Okay. This person told the worst lies on you. This person, like I said, gossip with their friends and family about you. And, and, and like this person do like half, half of the shit. I, and for some of you, all the shit this person was saying was, was lies. It was projection. It was lies. Okay. This person did this. This person essentially tried to humiliate you. This is b because they wanted to feel big about themselves. This is a, a distorted masculine that only could feel that, that feels good by trying to tear down other people, try to tear down a woman or try to abuse a woman. This is so, this is someone that, uh, like I said, they portray themselves to be masculine, tough, macho, but they really a motherfucking peon. They a puny ass little boy that had, had that refused to do the healing. They're toxic. They're bitter. They're jealous. Okay. And they're, it's like, like I said, you got, you got more strength, more nuts than, than half of these motherfuckers. It is sad that like for a lot of you, it's a group of men. It's sad that it's really bad the, that this toxic ex is this jealous and bitter and envious because of your growth. But this person is really embarrassed and saucy because they look like a fool. They have exposed themselves as a hater. Okay. Because everything this person said about you, you, you've, you've exceeded it. It doesn't add up. Okay, and this person, and you are showing up opposite as what this person tries to paint you. Okay, um, like what else I have? Uh, 
And for some of you, this is what I'm getting. It's going to be different for, for a lot of you. For some of you, like I said, this person knew your light, your potential. This person knew who you were. For others of you, you were slapped on. This person slapped on your greatness and your potential. This person thought you was not never going to be shit. This person just thought you you were always going to struggle or you weren't about to anything. Okay, that's why when this person left, this person left with... with uh, with the intentions of, of thinking that they were lead, like take, leaving trash, okay? When you you then bossed up and you you showed you was you was the fucking gift the whole time. You was the treasure the whole time, okay? Uh, so like I said, some of you were really this person really stepped on you, and, and you really like without even trying prove the fuckers wrong, and you said it in your power. You prove every lie that was told on you was bullshit because of a grown ass man envious and jealous and bitter of your growth because you don't want them. Okay. This is, this is the real trash here. Okay. Spirit took, handle, spirit took the trash out for you. This person got, um, yanked out your life by the universe for a reason. This person has always been an eye. This person works with your karmic family. This person worked with their karmic family. This person came together behind the scenes with motherfuckers to try to defeat you, to attack you. This motherfucker proved themselves to be a peasant and they could never. Okay. They could never. All right. And what else I was getting? Um, like, yeah, like this person is, this person it deals with major insecurity and shadow issues. Okay. Uh, uh, this person has a lot of issues. This person always project you, try to make you see like you're crazy, try to project on you as if you're the one in balance. You're, you're the one, uh, that you're the problem, okay? When it was uh, it always been them, because this person is very insecure. All right, this person has always been very uh insecure and very intimidated of you because you are authentic. It, it's the authenticity for me. It's the fact that you have always been real. You always been yourself, and that bothered this person because this person has to put on a front. This person has to has to be fake around other people. This person has to put on a show. But you just you just you effortlessly. You ain't got to put on a front, none of that shit. That's what really bothered this person about you, that you lived in your truth. And this person have, have, can't live in their truth. They have a lot of skeletons in this closet. They dealing with a lot of shit that they don't, they don't uh, speak or, or they try to hide, you know, from the community, from other motherfuckers. Okay. But what I'm getting is that the reason why this person spent all this time projected on you, because this is someone that's battled, that has been battling with their sexuality. This is someone that your ancestors is exposed as being bisexual. This is why this masculine, this distorted masculine, uh, um, is like, it's like they're off balance. They vibe in too much of their feminine energy because only a weak ass man, only a, a bitch ass man would sit and gossip and spread lies and be jealous of a female. Okay, okay. So it's crazy, but let's get a let's pull a few messages, y'all. All right. Like I said, this is someone that portrays themselves to be this is someone very egotistical, egotistical, very uh materialistic. This is someone I thought that they were better than you at one point and they got humbled. Now this person, this person is being exposed. This person is being exposed for who they are. This person tried to hide they with who they really are by projecting bullshit onto you. Try to take, uh, try to get the focus off of them to, by trying to down you, trying to demean you. Okay, with spirit now, they everything about this person has been exposed, and the fact that this person is really, really like the same sex, okay, has been exposed. Okay, and this is someone I tried to try so hard to keep this secret. And this person is embarrassed as well. This person feels some type of way because this person know you the high priestess and you know you know all their secrets. Okay, this person is ashamed. This person could never even face you. Okay. But have the nerve to be in the background. This person did shit. This person did spell work on you. This person did shit to literally try to destroy you. Now they sit and looking goofy as fuck. 
Yeah, look. I can't make this up. They worked with your karmic family, bottom of the deck. I can't make this up to bring you burdens. A Leo, Sag, or an Aries. This mask, this distorted masculine could be a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. And you could be a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Y'all take it where it resonates, okay? But this person, this is someone that works with their karmic. Like I said, it's a lot of chaos and confusion now because everyone that this person dragged on the hate train, all the motherfuckers get in touch. And it's a lot of chaos. It's a lot of confusion. It's a lot of he said, she said. It's a lot of why you drag me into this bullshit because they are burdened for trying to burden you. Okay. This person, not this person, life's life is a shit show. This person that gossip, they they this person that gossip themselves it's a destruction. This person gossip themselves literally, it's a destruction. Okay. <sighs> Clarify the five of wands spirit. Clarify the five of wands. Wow, that's too many. Okay. This person thought that they was going to get away with slandering you. And people are seeing this person treat true colors. This person is a snake. Okay, this person is inauthentic. This person fake as fuck. This person really is jealous, all right? Yeah, this, this person is really in a head. This person is really stress the fuck out and can't even sleep at night okay because this person has been exposed this person exposed themselves the, this person exposed their own self by they by their actions this person could never keep your name out their fucking mouth and a lot of you broke up with this motherfucker y'all detached years ago okay now this person is in major conflict this person yeah this person is in spiritual prison this person is in major conflict. Like I said, this person is fighting major demons. Okay, this person feels this person is it feel is been, has been spiritually stripped, restricted. Okay, this person knows they can never come towards you. This person has been permanently denied from your energy. Yeah, for some of, for some of you, this person works with your copycat. Okay, clarify five of wands, spirit. This is gonna be real quick, y'all, because I think this is gonna cut off at 20 minutes. So, because I got other messages on here. Look, we have 10 10. All right, some significant about October 10th. Wow, October 10th, it, it, it was some type of fight. It's still, it's still motherfuckers arguing and speaking all you. Okay. It was some, it was some type of fight. It was some type of argument in regards to you. In regards to you. You could be seeing Ted Ted a lot. Okay. October 10th is significant. You could be a Libra, but that's what I'm getting here. Ted Ted energy. Somebody address could be Ted Ted. Okay. It, it's this, it's, it's major conflict. This, this person, like I said, this is the person that this person, the people that this person dragged onto this tape train is now into it is now arguing and fighting with this person because they get in touch too. Any mother, a motherfucker can't even speak on your name. A motherfucker can't even speak on your name without your ancestors on their heels, without them catching karma. Okay? It's a lot of people stress the fuck out because they let this per they let this person, they let this person uh Pull them in some, some shit. Because these people ain't know who you are. This person ain't even know who you are. But it's too late. They let them pull. They, they put they let this person pull them in some shit they could never get out. And they all gonna pay. Any motherfucker that spoke on your day, that tried to come towards you to jump you, okay? That that did any type of uh, criminal, legal shit in your day, all these motherfuckers are paying. Okay? Especially this bitter, dis distorted ass masculine. This person is this person is uh, stressed out because everyone sees, everyone knows that this person is truly jealous of you. This person is truly envious and jealous of you. 
And at this part, like I said, this person has been an op the whole time. It's a lot of people looking at this person sideways. They looking at this person like, damn, you did this to this person. Have, don't nobody trust this person. This person is not to be trusted. This person is uh, untrustworthy. This person is easily manipul manipulated. This person was an op, a hidden snake, a hidden enemy. Okay, let's get, I think it's for the cut off y'all. So let's get a final message. Let's get a final message. Spirit. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, th this this person, this this ex, this ex is really bitter because, like I said, all that fun, they let all that gossip lead them to destruction, poverty. They have it spiritually stripped, rejected. Okay, all right. Why you? This person has to witness you continue glow, continue boss the fuck up, continue you continue better your power, better your light, being blessed. All right, and this person now sees you was the you were the blessing. You were, you are the golden child. You have always been a fucking truth. And they fucked up because they, they came for God's child at the end of the day. And this person, they karma is to continue, boss the fuck up, continue for you to manifest your ass off and get what you want and glow and shine all on a hater. Okay. Love you guys. Till the next video. Bye.